You guys look. The house that's shaped like a pumpkin grows pumpkins. How cute and very good theming. Socially awkward intro and welcome back to Skyward Sword. I'm Shalorin and I know that I said we weren't going to do any of these side questy things in the last episode. That's because we're doing them in this episode! Ha ha ha, I made you guys wait, didn't I? And by wait, I mean like a day. I'm so evil. Let's get to it, shall we? We've got a couple things to take care of and only about 20 to 30 minutes to do them in, depending on how long I decide I want this episode to last. First things first, the very pointed hint towards the chandelier. Also, hey dude, whose name I've misplaced. I'll figure it out in a minute. What you want to do is hit this conveniently labeled pillar about roughhousing on the balcony. And I've forgotten how to roll. No, there it is. No, Link! Link! There we go. And one more should do it. There we go! Why would you do that? Get down and come here this instant. Now we have to pay for our crimes. What do you say about that, huh? You've gone and made a terrible mess of things, haven't you? Well, now you're going to be in a world of trouble. Don't worry. I know exactly what I'm doing. Getting rewards for my bad behavior. You got a piece of heart. Collect four and increase your heart capacity by one. Just one more. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Let's see. Let's collect this and collect that. And who keeps money on their chandelier anyway? How angry are you on a scale of one to ten? What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom ordered chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Hmm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's right, and I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis, Skyloft Knight Commander. Conveniently, I know where that is. The Knight Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Knight Commander? Hmm. I believe we are, yes. Oh. Hey, you haven't... What do you mean I haven't... Oh, yeah, there's a fairy in it. Bother! Well, that put a bit of a damper on things, hasn't it? I never thought. Oh my goodness, excuse me. Never thought I was going to regret grabbing a fairy, but I am regretting grabbing a fairy. Aww. Don't even pretend that that was an accident. I put signs up there to warn people to be careful of the chandelier and everything. Well, I wash my hands of the whole thing. Don't be surprised if my dad gives you a royal chewing out. Yeah, I deserve that. Okay, since we can't actually do this thing quite yet, let's go do the other thing. I just need to figure out how to remember how to make it nightfall. Actually, no, I remember how to make it nightfall. We'll be fine. I love the fact that a large portion of this society revolves around throwing yourself off of bridges. It's just disproportionately funny to me. I'll meet you guys back at Skyloft. We're gonna see if we can't find Kukia. Here we go. And with the good music. Let's see. First thing we want to do is... Oh, hey, there it is. Find the graveyard. Perfect. Let's see. We want to do Nightfall and then the one closest to the shed. Yes? I'm assuming this is the shed, so... It's probably this one. Move. Do they all say that? Move. Yes, they do. Okay. Let's go ransack somebody's bed. Oh man, I thought this was somebody's bed. Let's see. Uh, there's a house. That'll do. Okay. 
Now, the funny thing about Skyward Sword, you don't necessarily have a bed, but whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. But everyone else does, and you can sleep uh... indiscriminately in them. Hello, how's your Pippet doing? Well, I think he's doing great. I haven't actually seen him in a bit, but you know, very, very responsible, that one. Have you noticed your house is gray? And I don't necessarily think it should be. I'm going to sleep in this ungray bed. I want to sleep until night. We're getting this done. Look at that, we just flop and goes to sleep on command. Wish I had that skill. We are now fully rested. I forgot to equip the metal shield. There we go, that's better. Ma'am, you need to hire a duster. Good day to you. Hmm? Wait, yeah, ma'am. I've been sleeping until night time. I, I will do so, ma'am, but like, honestly. I've been here for hours, probably, in game. You know, cause the sun had to go down, the moon had to come up, and that takes at least two hours, assuming I went to bed at like six? Oh look, fireflies. That's not what we're here for. We're here to go uh, this way, I think. Okay, have to move the one closest to the shed, yes? No way to have to whack it, right? Maybe it's this one. There we go. I have to whack it and I have to move it. And that's not the one I would have said was closest to the shed, but okay. Now, the correlation between what this random old dude said and Kukiel. Basically... Someone said they saw a monster with her. The old man said he's seen a demon. Correlation would indicate that these two are one and the same. Let's see if I'm right. Ah! I'm not going to scream, because that would probably burst your eardrums, but please imagine me screeching at the top of my lungs. Don't worry, small screaming child! We will save you! the only appropriate reaction here is to slack at him. Stop! Please! I beg of you! Don't hurt me! Oh, goodness. I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. We were just playing the scream as loud as you can game! Uh. <laughs> Isn't that a fun game? Oh, dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is Betro. Oh, shoot, he's French. I forgot. I forgot his name is like French. What's a what's a French accent? All right, I'm just I'm going to channel Lumiere <laughs> from Beauty and the Beast and if that is horribly wrong, I apologize. Um and I am a monster who resides No, that's Australian. What? Resides here in this humble dwelling below. That's still Australian. What is wrong with me? Hello Skyloft. But please allow me <laughs> <laughs> to completely fail at French accents. I took French in high school. I am a disgrace to the language. Okay, what accent can I do? Because French is apparently not one of them. It's like a... Hmm. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of... This. That's still bad. Oh, gosh. You know what? I'm just going to give him whatever my brain decides to give him. Okay, okay. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck by a paralyzing fear at the sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with more joy than to be friends with the fine people of this town. 
But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Right. Silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. Oh. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Mm -hmm. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh, oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Yeah, you're too polite. I don't know how to say that politely. <laughs> Truly, you'll help me? I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. <laughs> They could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds. Anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. I will get all right on that, sir, but I don't know where to... Well, actually... That dear girl shall be back home safe and sound by tomorrow morning. Give her parents my warmest regards when you see them. Oh, and good luck gathering the gratitude crystals I require. To start, please bring me five if you can. That would be so splendid. If you do a great kindness for someone, you may even find several at once. You got it. And what do you say, little lady? Hi. Hi. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night. So I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Where is your mother? Shoot. Thank you for taking care of her. Thank you for not eating her. Thank you for not being evil. I will absolutely tell her mother where she is and when she'll be home as soon as I remember where her house is. This may take me a couple minutes because we all know that I'm not great with directions and this just... Oof. Sadly, we... Oh, actually, can we leave off this letter? We can! Sweet. Let's just keep on leaving. And there we go. Okay. Now, Kukiel's house... Um... Should be... Around... Somewhere. Okay, they might... Oh, boy. I thought the doors told you who was who. Guess not. Alright, well, we'll just... We'll just try it, then. We'll just run around trying every door in the house... This is not that. This is not right. Hello, shopkeeper man, though. This may call for a montage of all my mishaps. So, I will see you when I find it. Uh, let's try this one. Shoot, I don't think this is the right house, but then again, I was like, hang on, there might be someone else in here, and I was all, thank goodness. <laughs> I was getting really confused there for a minute. Yes, I did find Kukiel! Hmm, well, I guess it's good to hear that she's at least with a friendly and responsible adult, but I just can't wait to see her! Yeah, she'll be back in the morning, don't worry. Okay, speaking of which, um, I'm just gonna take snooze on this bed 
Thank you very much. Because we might as well, right? Neato. Let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, Link! Kukiel is safely back at home, and it's all because of you! I don't know how to express my gratitude! You got some crystals. <laughs> See what I did there? I can finally smile and laugh again! Thank you ever so much! We got five gratitude crystals! Wow, how convenient. That's exactly the number he asked for. These are crystals... These crystals are feelings of gratitude in crystallized form. It must have taken a lot of gratitude to produce this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feels good. Look at that. Link, thanks so much for finding Kukiel. I'll need to be sure to find and thank that kind gentleman who kept an eye on her too. About that, you may have to wait until he can, um, make himself presentable. Yeah, let's go with that. Where's Kukiel? Oh, there she is. Hey, little lady. Hi. Oh, it's you, Link. Uncle Bats told me he wants to see all the gratitude crackles he can. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. But how's he going to do that? Well, I'm going to bring him to him. Gratitude crackles. Oh my gosh, she's precious. Oh, she's absolutely precious. Okay. I wonder if I can go see Batro during the day. Let's find out. I mean, no time like the present, am I right? I don't. <sighs> Disclaimer. I have absolutely played this game before, but I do not necessarily remember everything about it. When I replay a game, it's usually because I love it too much. Aha! Ah, uh, yep, yep, okay. I, I failed with that regard. Okay. Hopefully I can... I hope his door is open. He's not one of those demons who's allergic to sunshine, is he? Because that'll be just inconvenient for all of us. Oh yeah, also, let's appreciate his theme for a hot minute. Also his decor, he could fit in right with the Adams family. spooky but also whimsical i like it i have some gratitude crystals for you dude yes i have how magnificent please take this as a token of this demon's deepest appreciation oh okay <laughs> thank you so much dude i you just made my purchase of a wallet completely obsolete Whoopsies! Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need? Yep, I'm on it. Just not right now. Right now, I think we're gonna head down to the surface. This has been a third, 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 third mm -hmm. I can't English. This has been a thoroughly lucrative side mission episode. Let's get back to the main storyline, shall we? Just gotta hop up to an appropriate ledge to throw myself off of. Funny thing about Skyloft, the birds only come to you if you throw yourself off of one of the designated throw yourself off points. If you, for some reason, say, climb up onto this ledge and jump, you cannot call your bird. You will instead be rescued by one of the friendly knights of Skyloft. Watch your step there. Haven't they taught you at the academy that knights must always be vigilant? I did it on purpose! Uh -huh. Yeah. See you, dude. Yeah Aw, he's having fun. Yeah, for some reason it only works if you throw yourself off the designated points. And I'm not quite sure why this is, because you would think that it should work from any point at all. But... 
Also, this is actually kind of pretty conveniently close to where I threw myself off. All right. Oh, this is actually really close to where I threw myself off. All right. So, now that we've done all of that and set ourselves up for future uh, side quests with that whole cup of bottle of soup thing that I need an empty bottle for, let us throw ourselves off the proper surface this time and head on down to the surface. See what's new. Let's see. Where? There it is. I'll meet you guys there. It looks like it's a bit of a ways away. Here we are! This is Elden Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the Earth. Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and direct flame. Please exercise caution with flammable materials such as wood and fabric. In the event you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. This place is a Canadian's worst nightmare, and we're gonna explore it next time because, uh, yeah, we're getting a, we're getting a bit timely here. But seriously, though, look at that! Isn't that cool? Aesthetics, man. I'm just gonna keep on gushing over them until you all believe me. <laughs> all right, next time we're going to avoid taking a bath as much as physically possible because that looks painful. Socially awkward exit. And I will see you all then.